This is all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Peter Parker is not okay, and it isn't just because of the symbiote. His guilt, feeling of not being enough, and weight of all his responsibilities is on another level in Spider-Man too. He feels like a failure, he isn't acting like what happened in the first game happens every day, all those tragedies and losing Aunt May are affecting him. He feels like he couldn't save May, he couldn't save Otto, and he couldn't protect the city. These feelings become even worse when Craven the Hunter shows up and brings his hunters with him. What are you? It all reaches a final point when Craven finally kills Peter. This is the end. He failed his city, he failed his friends, and he failed the love of his life. He feels so responsible that his last words were Sorry, I was always so busy. Don't! But just when he thinks it's all over, Symbiote saves him. It makes him more powerful and after all that desperation and self-doubt, Symbiote makes him feel like he is finally enough. It takes advantage of Peter's insecurities and slowly poisons him. We keep hearing Peter saying things like I need this suit! It makes me a better Spider-Man! You just want it for yourself! I can't let this go! I'm finally everything everyone needs me to be! We need to call Oscorp. We need to destroy it. Destroy us? <laughs> you said it chose me, Doc. It makes me a better Spider-Man. He is angry, he feels invincible, and his ego is blinding him. Suit so makes him reckless because he feels undefeatable when he wears it. This addiction slowly turns him into a monster. MJ. Seeing Mary Jane's article about him being dangerous doesn't help too. Good job MJ, provoking Peter even more and betraying him is the right thing to do when he needs help the most. I saw your story. I tried to tell you about that. Yeah, but you didn't, did you? I can't lose this job. Your job is to write the truth. I did. The truth is, I'm the hero here, not you. Anyway, Peter is finally ready to move on after ripping that suit off and remembering May's death wasn't his fault and he did the right thing by helping others, just like she wanted. In the end, we see him rebuilding his life and taking some time off from Spider-Man to fix his life as Peter Parker and maybe come back as a better Spider-Man in the future. Relax and be a good proton. Huh? Stay positive. 